All right, so this is my hair before I start washing it. I don't have any gel in it, just a curling cream. And I kind of like it that way because I don't like the flaking. And the only thing I use is like a little bit of edge control around the sides because I don't want it breaking out my skin. So I'm gonna share with you my routine on how I style my TWA, my teeny weeny afro. All right, so this is my hair. I just washed it. I used the Cream of Nature shampoo, the Cream of Nature conditioner, and some Shea moisture conditioner in the shower. And this is what my hair looks like when I get out the shower. So as you can see, the curls are not that defined. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my hair with this Honest Detangling Conditioner. It's gonna help uh, sort of define my curls. And then I'm gonna put on a little bit of this organic coconut oil. And when my hair gets a little dry, I'll spray it with a little bit of water. In the end, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Wave Whip. But for the most part, I'm not gonna use any gel. I'm gonna be using this Coconut Curling Cream to define my curls. I'm not using a gel because I don't like for it to flake. And around my edges, I'm gonna lay it down with this okay to be continued all right so i don't know if this is the best angle but i'm going to use some of this detangler see if you can see any difference in the way that my hair is uh looking i'll just do the middle first so you can see and this is usually when my hair is the curliest and I think the fullest is here. So this product works a little different around here than it does around on these sides here. I have different textures of hair. <laughs> but it feels good. It feels really good. Let's see if you can see anything here. Keep your towel on because you're gonna be using a lot of products that's gonna drip. And after my hair is all done, I'm gonna wash my face. Uh, usually with a little bit of a, I've already washed it in the shower, so it's clean. But I'm gonna put on some aloe vera, an aloe vera plant, and then some cocoa butter for my skin. That's one of the reasons why I don't use a lot of products because I don't want my skin breaking out. So let's see if you can see any difference in the curl pattern. See in the front here. It's starting to shape up. <laughs> I don't usually use, lately I haven't been using gel on my hair because I don't like uh, because like after three days, to me it looks like you need to do it all over again. And I don't like the flaking. So let's see. Now we can see what's going on here. It's defining the curls a little bit. Especially in the front. So that's the detangling spray. And come up close so you can see. And hopefully you can see some difference. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I feel like your hair is, um, it, it's like your skin. It absorbs what you put on it. You put in some organic coconut oil on it. So rubbing it in. Oil and water don't mix. 
But in this instance, you need moisture so that the curl stays soft. So I just use this. This is only for hair. So I just go in like that. Actually, it's warm here. <laughs> I can pour it out in some instances. Let's see. Yeah, pour a little bit out in my hand like so. Rub my hands together. Rub it on my hair. Rub it in my scalp. Okay, you just rub it in. You see it looks white, but it's gonna it's gonna soak in. And that white will disappear. That white is from the coconut oil. I try to keep my face. I don't like a lot of stuff dripping down my face, but it's inevitable. So let's see. Let's go back over. And see if you can see anything different with the curl pattern. Not much, but the main thing is that it's healthy, it's moisturized. And it's clean. Okay, so it's all about layering. So now we have the coconut oil on there and the detangler spray. Now I'm going to move into putting on this, what is it, curling cream. Okay. So you see the curl pattern is not that defined, but watch when I put on the curling cream. I have to cut this so this won't be so long. So the things that I use to comb my hair with is this uh, to do my edges and this comb to sort of like pick out my hair when I want it to, when I want to shape it once it's a little bit dry. Right now I don't need to shape it. It's a little warm in here, so I'm going to take off this towel because most of the products that I'm going to use now are not water-based, they're not really runny. I'm already used this. And you need a generous amount. You put it on your hair. Try to get front and back of your hair. You can go in through each section and sort of like brush it on and define your curls. It's gonna look white for a while. You could either get underneath the dryer with this or let it air dry. It's a Saturday. I really don't have much to do. <sighs> you know. As far as like outside, the only thing I'm going to do this weekend, well today, which is Saturday, is work on a boutique. The holiday season is upon us, so I need to get some of the autumn and winter items up on the site. Just the back. So ideally you want to go up and then back. So you coat the front and the back of your hair. Okay. See, see the difference in the curl pattern? Starting to curl up. You need a generous amount, especially in areas where it might be thicker. Like my hair is thicker here. So I go through and part with my hands and put on the curling lotion. Massage it in. Okay, like so. I personally don't need a lot of curls defined, 
But if I do, I just go in like this. The comb. Then define it. It's almost like if you had a curl on, you'd be doing the same thing. If I had a perm and I was curling my hair, I would be going through and doing the same thing. I could do the same thing here along the sides. Let me just show you how it works. And you can define your curls with this. It'll stay better if you did something with um, gel. But you're able to go through and define your curls with just this. It all depends on what look you want. I'm of a certain age. I don't need all that twirling going on and baby hairs. I just want stuff like this to go away and be curly. So there's nothing sticking out. I cut off my perm. I cut off all my color. And now you can see what's happening with the curl pattern everywhere. And it's just gonna I just try to make sure I put it down to the scalp so that the curls are defined all the way through. And I could put gel on this and it will uh, define the curls even more. But what I find is that it goes away after one or two days and then you're left with, left with all these flakes coming out. I don't have time for the flakes. Don't have time for the fleeks. And all that product gets, gets on your pillow. And it can mess up your skin. So, depending upon your hair type, is how products will work. If your goal is to just wash and go, and just put things on your hair that will make it healthy and you want it to stay soft you go with stuff like this but <clears throat> if you want it to be in a way that it you know is really defined you can use gel and normally the gel won't flake if you Go ahead and put on something like, you know, the oils that I used to stop it from flaking, but it didn't stop it enough for me. So now I'm gonna put on a little bit of this. This is like a mousse. They call it a wave whip curling mousse. So you spray it in like that. Let me see if I can show you. You like that. I do like 10 pumps. I don't have that much hair. <laughs> but you just pat it in, pat it in so it sort of sets in your curls. It gets a lot of product. I'm trying to do this in the camera. I never did that. <laughs> no, it looks like snow right now. I'll put a little bit more on it. Put a little bit more on the back, shape it with my hands. Sort of like a set, it sets it a little bit. So now you can see the curl pattern starting to form a little bit better. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm going to start to do the edges here. Let me wipe my hands. A lot of product. 
usually I will rinse it, but my camera is right where the water is, so I can't really rinse. I have to wipe my hands. All right. So you see how it's kind of like this? You could go in here and you can just comb it and curl it. Comb it and curl it. Comb it and curl it. Anywhere where you see the little flyaways or the frizzies, you can define how you want. So you can go in and then <clears throat> define it everywhere. Even across the top, on the sides. Go in, the hair is soft right now. You can shape it. And then just go back in with your hands. And sort of mix it up a little bit so there won't be no parts. Let me show you up close. Oh, you can shape it like this. I don't have any gel in it so far. <clears throat> See the flyaways? You want to go in? You can go in and shape it. But it doesn't bother me. Because the only solution to that would be to put some gel on it. I don't feel like doing the gel right now. I'm gonna probably do another video where I define it with the gel all over so you can see the difference. So you can see curl pattern starting to set in. See the little frizzies? You can shape that if you want. Because as the days go on, the curls are gonna loosen up. <coughs> All right, so now I'm gonna use this on my edges. Um, trying to do this in this mirror, I don't know if it's gonna work. It's like a thick consistency, like this. <laughs> so I just put it around my edges here, the very edges, because I like what I can lay down and I like to shape it. Put some more on there. I'll put it around the top and the front. This is I want it to stay still. I want to be able to shape it. Put a little bit more on. So this is really the only places that I put the gel. And also I put it around the top, especially right here, because this is where I have like grays and they're kind of stubborn. So put that on. And the very back to right in here, I put it on so that this will stay a little curly. Just around the sides, the back. I do that because I like for my head to have that tapered look where it's closer on the sides and the back to shape my head. All right, so now. And try to do this. You can shape it how you want to shape it. I tend to do this because I don't. I feel like my hairline makes me look like a little boy. <laughs> my daughter hate when I say that because she's like, "You don't look like a boy," and my husband says the same thing. He's like, "You don't look like a boy." Until I put on some makeup and some earrings. Yeah, I can look like a little boy. So this, you can just do however you want. You don't have to be perfect. Like, some people do the little swirls and stuff like that. I don't have time for all that. I just simply want it to look like, almost like finger waves a little bit. It's going to curl up. That's fine with me. It's fine with 
with me. All right. So now I have to turn on the water, okay? Hopefully I don't mess this camera up. Because like now, you could either sit underneath the dryer and blow dry your hair, or you could um, let it air dry. It's a serious wash and go. I've seen some people put like strips on where they um, tie it down and all that. I am not doing that today. So now I'm going to get the excess off. Need the cloth, whatever. Just get it all quickly because that stuff sets. I think it works like that B to B, some B and B, some glue they be using. My daughter uses it. Yep. So this is all. I'm gonna get out my blow dryer so you can see. First, let me let you see the curls, okay? So, it's still drying. There's a lot of product in my hair. But as it dries, it's just simply gonna set. It's not gonna be white like you see all up in here. But you see the difference in my hair now than what I was before. Let me see if I turn the camera around. No, I don't know how to turn the camera around. So this is the front. This is the side. See if I could do it this way. So you can see the back. I don't know if you can see the curls all that good. Yeah. That's it. That's the side view. Okay. That's the side view. See, I just like to make it look natural. Not nothing fancy. Just neat. On the side. And on this side. <laughs> okay. Get you close up. Close up. I need to learn how to use these mirrors. I have all these mirrors, but I ain't gonna see that. <laughs> I have all these mirrors. Let me turn it. All right, so I need to learn how to use these mirrors. I have all these mirrors and don't know how to use them. Like they do in the videos. That's not showing you good, is it? Let's try this mirror.
style how you want. I just want my hair to be clean and ready to go. You can sit under the dryer with it as well. like you just run your fingers through it if it's like a space or it might be a little thin or where I blow dried it for the most part I just let it air dry it's hot in here but so I'll do the gel the next time one tip <laughs> is with the gray here. If I was to use that hand pro around the sides and stuff, that gel that's like a dark in color, it stains the gray and it looks a lot, um, you know, darker. So that's it. My little TWA. Next time I'm gonna do it well, I'll define it with the curls. It's gonna take a lot longer and it's gonna look a little bit better, but it's not gonna last as long. So that's my tip for easy, breezy TWA hair. Let me do a little bit of oil sheet. Let's see how that does. Hold on. Alright, so this is the oil sheet and I used olive oil. And just spray a little bit on everywhere to give it a little bit of shine. And I think that's it. I don't need to do much more. Much more than that. You can shape it with your hands. Do you want to shape it with your hands? If you wanted to give it some lift, you know, like in areas like that, you can just take something like this, give it some shape. Or if there's spaces, you can take this and get the spaces out. But to me, that's all I need for now. Put on some earrings and call it a day. That's it. My T W A T W Afro. I wish I knew how to. I try to use this mirror again to show you the back. I can't really see it that good. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let me go over here, show you where there's some space, how you can just take this comb and get out, get the spaces out. See if I can do it with this. See any more spaces? Maybe right there. Let's pick it out. It's usually on the side because my hair is a different grain on the side and in the back, it's thinner. Like a straighter texture. So it lays down. This, I want to get shaped up. I'm gonna probably go to the barber and get this shaped up back here. But until then, this is gonna have to do. <clears throat> and that's it.
inside in his bathroom. I just took a shower. <laughs> I just took a shower. So to make sure I have all of this stuff off of my face. I'm gonna um, cut a piece of aloe vera and put it on my face to cleanse it. And then use some cocoa butter to moisturize my Here's a mess behind me. We really use this bathroom a lot. <laughs> Let me take some pictures. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below and any comments. Let me know if you're also having this type of a journey. I'm not against perms. I just got tired of doing it. Wanted to try something different. And We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.